Kentucky, Wisconsin, visit America's money-bagging coastal cities, sniff around its private schools and fortress-like subdivisions, and a first-time visitor might ask, does everyone in this flipping country drive a BMW, Audi, or Benz? Remarkably, the German brand sales and cultural dominance have only increased, thanks in part to a blitz of variegated SUVs that have left even Japanese luxury brands, let alone Cadillac, scrambling to keep pace. With its numbers off even in the booming luxury market, Cadillac's own record runs from critical successes that have thus far generated lackluster sales, namely the ATS and CTS sedans, to the industry's biggest egg on face of 2014, the epically miscalculated ELR plug-in hybrid. And somehow this Detroit mark finds itself nearly bereft of small, smaller, medium, and large crossover SUVs. So like a Dutch girl with 20 fingers, Cadillac is racing to plug the spurting holes in its lineup, promising a $12 billion investment to develop eight new models, including the Sunto Ori full-size CT6 sedan and XT5 mid-size crossover slated to replace the SRX in 2016. Getting a kick out of this caddy but enough grubby business. Let's talk about a car that will likely only generate relative pocket change for Cadillac but enough enthusiast buzz to set the internet aflame and remind the badge obsessed that the brand is not only live but kicking, the 2016 Cadillac CTS V sedan. And what a kick it is, 640 horses and 200 miles per hour worth of BM booting, Mercedes spitting terror amply demonstrated over blazing four-mile trips around Wisconsin's Road America circuit. To sports sedan rivals, the CTSV's nearly one gram of lateral grip, redoubtable Brembo brakes, hyper-engineered chassis, magnetic suspension, and five-mode performance traction management present an ample challenge. To that, the Cadillac adds an almost unfair inheritance via modified where some poiled version of the Corvette Z06's supercharged, 6.2-liter V8. The direct-injected, cylinder-deactivating LT4 generates 630 lb-ft of torque with 9.4 pounds per square inch of broad-spectrum supercharged boost. Do the math. You're looking at an 84-horsepower jump over the second-gen CTSV. Those improbable 640 horses are 80 and 83 horsepower more, respectively, than in the BMW M5 and Mercedes AMG E63, with an even broader torque advantage of 130 and 99 lbft. Cadillac's weight reductions trimmed the CTSV to 4,145 pounds, 107 pounds less than its predecessor with savers including a carbon fiber hood. The upshot is a robust weight power ratio of 6.5 pounds per horsepower versus the M5 7.8 and the E63's 8.0. Internet geniuses will count to 707 to declare Dodge's Charger Hellcat as the American sedan horsepower champ. However, the Cadillac doesn't just slay the Mopar in performance metrics that matter to skilled enthusiasts, responsive handling, braking, lap times, driver engagement, but likely in real world stoplight bursts. Reliably transferring power without the Hellcat's fire and brimstone tire smoke, via bespoke compound Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires, an 8-speed, paddle-shifted automatic transmission and the aforementioned Delst, the 2016 Cadillac CTS-V catapults to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds and trips the quarter mile in 11.6 seconds, and does each so sure-footedly that your Davila cruising grandma could do it. Of course, the Cadillac won't bother slumming with Motown muscle cars. It's out to pound richer German prey into schnitzel. Though the CTSV's $84,990 base price, before a $1,000 gas cutter penalty, sneaks closer to those of its rivals.
handsome but not sexy the one thing the caddy can't do is outstyle or outlux the German bond stormers. It sounds like heresy, but we'd trade 100 of those horses for the big balls attitude of the Mercedes Z63 or the inside out chic of Audi's RS7. Circle the caddy enough times, and you'll discover a quietly handsome car, especially the locomotive drape of its carbon fiber hood, chainmail maw, and obelisk shaped tail lamps. Nor does the function first design go overboard on jewelry. A $4,900 package ribbons the aggressive front splitter and rear diffuser with book matched carbon fiber, with more for interior trim, hood heat extractors a jaunty rear wing, and air directing gurney lips along front wheel arches. Yet for all that, the CTSV exudes all the sex appeal of a slide rule. The slab-sided Cadillac barely drew a second glance from Wisconsinites, whether in farm country or cruising for photo ops in Milwaukee, folks we expected to eat up the CTSV like a tub of cheddar. Only when we lit up the tires like teenage idiots in Milwaukee's third war did an Infinity G35, with two collegiate guys aboard, buzz the brickered caddy for a closer look. The cabin also hovers in Cadillac's familiar menace territory, graded on the American curve, the design shames homegrown cars of even a decade ago, but caddy still needs Adderall and a cram session to keep pace with the European wonks. As with the smaller ATS, the CTS back seat and trunk aren't especially well packaged relative to its overall footprint. Hand me down Chevy switch gear lends that enduring whiff of goodness to the Enterprise. And the seat's rubbery hides recall a middle of dad rocking a leather jacket from men's warehouse. Cadillac bragged up its investment in a suited microfiber headliner, door trim, and seat inserts. But they fail to elicit reflexive Ohanda caresses like its plush Alcantara rivals. Optional Recaro sport seats do deliver, smartly and supportively, on the luxury sport seat and promise. Ditto for the striking, reconfigurable instrument cluster and thick rim steering wheel. The reviled Q infotainment system gets a tad more livable with a faster processor. A 4G LTE wireless connection is standard, and options range from a head-up display to a neat curb view camera that helps drivers avoid scraping the car's low-slung chin. Quick on the trigger fortunately, CTSV owners can boast at will about how quickly they arrived at their destination. Led by Tony Roma, the series chief engineer, the CTSV was stiffened and tuned, mechanically and electronically for the dynamic brilliance that's becoming a Cadillac signature. Six chassis bushings have been replaced with ball joints, and an aluminum underbody shear panel connects the rocker panels to the front cradle, promoting fast reactions while reducing twitchiness from broad, sticky 19-inch tires. Rear drive shafts of asymmetrical thickness negate wheel hop during hard launches. Front brakes include 15.4-inch rotors with six piston calipers. Over-the-top temperature management includes five additional heat exchangers versus the standard CTS, including ones for oil, the intercooler, and the rear differential. Four exhaust outlets open inboard pipes via Tostage valves, above 3,000 revolutions per minute in Turing mode, always open otherwise to play supercharged V8 music, including a marked up underhood area that supplements sound via the audio system. Three driver modes adjust steering assist, throttle, traction, the magnetic suspension, and GM's in-house 8-speed, paddle-shifted automatic gearbox, also bequeathed from the Z06. In its softest touring mode on public roads, the car feels nearly as quiet and docile as a standard CTS, though more firmly sprung. As in the Z06, drivers choose among five levels of stability oversight from the ELST, from straight and safe to a said trippy freedom from intervention. Calculating like an MIT whiz, it clocks myriad parameters on a 6 millisecond loop, 
the Elst retard spark to dial and understeer when drivers defy the car's physical limits and promote stability under braking and at mid-corner and corner exit. Speed with ease street or track, those modes indeed make the CTS via hurricane force breeze to drive, with steering and suspension as sensitive to conditions as a veteran meteorologist. And how to describe the engine? Call it a radioactive out of power, dip your toe, and the CTSV might turn you into a superhero. Fortunately for our mortal alter egos, it's unlikely to kill you. The CTSV still has to be a luxurious, bimodal car that's not scary to drive, Roma says. Yet the responsibilities of freedom become clear when, in full number 5 race mode, zero traction or stability control, we spin on road America's notorious hurry down corner, a downhill left hander where the combination of gravity and too fast entry leaves us sideways but still on the track. No harm, no foul, and we nail it on successive laps, the Cadillac barreling to 155 miles per hour on road America's grandstand straight away, the brakes holding steadfast for lap after giddy lap. If there's one Achilles heel, or mild blister, it's the Caddy's 8-speed gearbox, far superior to the previous dawdling 6-speed yet less crisp than the latest dual-clutch boxes found on some competitors. Still, take a Corvette Z06, add roughly 600 pounds and a pair of doors, and you'll have the gist of the CTSV. We'd prefer to focus on the Cadillac's stellar dynamics, a veritable fun house for affluent grown-ups. Yet we can't help sneaking peeks at the Tostri billboard numbers. Let's leave it to Roma, we're very proud to have a four-door car in the 200 miles per hour club, he says. That bears repeating, a Cadillac sedan that hits 200 miles per hour can the CTSV help speed the rescue of the slow-selling, price-slashing CTS lineup. Let the heavy lifting begin. 2016 Cadillac CTSV sedan specifications on sale, August price, $85,990 engine. 6.2 liters supercharged OHV 16 valve V8 slash 640 horsepower at 6,400 revolutions per minute, 630 lbft at 3,600 revolutions per minute transmission, 8 speed automatic layout, 4 door, 5 passenger, front engine, RWD sedan EPA mileage, 1621st mile per gallon. City slash highway, estate suspension F slash R, struts, coil springs slash multi-link. Coil